Hey guys, this is Jamie again. So, I think it was kind of obvious to talk about the Supreme Court's decision to pretty much uh, make abortion illegal in the US. And obviously a lot of states are following us. Some governors are saying they're not, they're gonna do everything in their power not to um, put people under risk and etc. But obviously the fact that it was overturned national US-wide is very alarming. And uh, there's also been talks of what can be followed next, like interracial marriage, same-sex marriage, same-sex adoption uh contraception and in general everyone's just looking at the us with this massive well what the fuck <laughs> and i know this is no laughing matter i just honestly don't know how to approach it and at the same time i understand that i'm not american i've never lived in american soil so obviously um this isn't the best uh, I'm not the best person to discuss this about if you want an American perspective but I do want to talk about the trans perspective because people have been talking about it on reddit and uh, thankfully on Twitter I have seen this raised but this is not solely a woman's issue this is an issue of anyone who can get pregnant there's obviously a lot of issues with the wording there's a lot of issues with how to address people like that and it's not just, um, yes, not just women. Everyone who can get pregnant is under the risk of uh, having their life, their well, actually, their choices taken away. And this is absolutely devastating. And also, someone else said that. We need to keep in mind that this is not the first horrific thing that has been happening in the US because there's been a lot of trans legislations which are terrible and I've talked about them in the past and uh, I also wanted to raise awareness I was browsing for reddit and there's a lot of already discussion that obviously you need to be on contraceptives you need to make sure that your partner understands um, if you are in a situation where you and your partner are able to conceive, you need to understand that you are under enormous, enormous risk. So right now, it is very important to think about contraception, to have a discussion with your partner. And ultimately, I've seen even extreme cases where people say you should really not be with your partner if your partner doesn't understand the severeness of this. So yeah, uh, all of a sudden, all of this is is atrocious it's atrocious that is happening and specifically with trans rights so i truly hope that everyone understands that it's not just cis straight woman obviously under the attack here also obviously terps are quiet um and mostly the people who i've seen talk about that this is just a woman's right issue. I've also seen that it's a lot of it is just uh, the LGBT community as well, like obviously from trans men under the bus and uh, trans mask people, non binary people who can conceive or who can get pregnant rather. So there's a lot of uh, bad language going around, bad not inclusive language, which erases the problems of many. Also, I wanted to raise awareness again. Um, I'm just a very white European, so I it's not in my place to talk about it. But obviously, uh, communities of people of color, people of color are uh, targeted as well in this. And specifically, the fact that interracial marriage might get overturned. This is something we need to really be careful about and uh, understand and raise awareness on uh, racism and etc in the US and again I'm I'm just a very dumb European when it comes to these matters so I really suggest uh, looking at someone else what I am speaking about is from a white trans perspective of a European who's just watching this please 
And obviously I have a small platform, but I still think it's important for me to talk. Because the more noise everyone makes, the better. So that's why even if I don't have a lot to say, it's very important. I also read that it's not just Planned Parenthood that needs donations, but any um, service that provides abortions will need donations at this point. So it's better to do that as well, and obviously Planned Parenthood. And uh, also speaking to, I have a lot of American friends, a lot of them aren't surprised, obviously. We saw this coming, uh, there was a lot of talk about it, that it was going to happen, that there would be no running away from it, and that it was just a matter of time. Another thing which uh, didn't surprise me was I am very much against uh, Biden, who pretty much doesn't give a shit about what's going on, besides like thoughts and prayers or whatever. So I do feel like the the whole idea that Americans should vote better isn't exactly the right solution because we have a president, we have everyone just like, eh, you know, happens. Again, I might, might not be understanding every nook and, and turn of American politics, but I just feel like I am vibrant with the fact that people are calling out Obama, they're calling out his wife, they're calling out everyone under the light of American politics for even allowing this to happen and everyone who didn't do anything in their power. This is truly a devastating situation for all of human rights. I have spoken um, in the past about Poland and I always felt that this would be like some surreal Catholic uh, countries issues. Like for instance, we've uh, obviously looked at Latin America and Brazil abortions are still uh, illegal, but there are cases where they can be overturned and you can't get an abortion. Like, because in the US for instance, now you can't do it because even if it's incest rape, if the baby's dead and the baby, the fetus, or whatever you want to call um, the mumbo jumbo of souls. So it doesn't matter at what stage you're in, the point is that you need to carry it to full term and that is absolutely disgusting. So there's also an interesting discussion going on that everyone's talking about the extremes, but at the end of the day it boils down to do you want to have this child or not? And that is a decision which everyone who as pregnant, has to decide by themselves. And this is not a politics issue or a religious issue or whatever. Another great point I saw is that uh, people said that this only prevents the people who are not in power to not get access to abortions because obviously if you have the money you will uh, get access to abortions. and. There also will be a lot of more not safe abortion practices because what else can people do? So I truly, truly wish that something will happen that it get that it will get overturned. This is absolutely devastating. And uh, yeah, I feel like This is what I sh we should be focusing on today. Um, from the next week, I'll try to pick up lighter subjects to sort of distract us, unless there's more updates. But in general, my heart goes out to everyone who's affected by this. And also, I understand that uh, the US has had involvements uh, war-wise with pretty much all the wars these days. But so I also wanted to say that just what's happening in the US isn't a reason for a distraction for not to think about the war in Ukraine, for instance. So we truly live in dark times where there's a lot of issues happening. Everything is absolutely insane. So on one hand, I would say keep your eye on the news 
wherever you get your unbiased news from. On the other hand, make sure you're, you don't get overwhelmed from all of this. Because this is truly just disgusting. So please stay safe. Um, I also wanted to mention that if anyone wants any resources about Europe, uh, if anyone is, I have started getting tagged in uh, for different, uh, to help different people about Portugal if they want to move to Portugal. So if you do, if you are someone who wants to know more about the trans system in Portugal, or about moving to Portugal, or about something in, in Europe, because obviously I've lived around Europe, um, please feel free. Please feel, please feel free to ask questions. I will be as resourceful with all the resources I have possible. And I truly wish everyone to be safe. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, just stay safe.